been a while since I did a haul video, so I figured I should do one. Hola! I usually do these hauls when I buy like a bunch of stuff, like a lot or a lot more than I did this month or most of the months to be honest. Cause since I order everything from Japan, it's just better to order a lot, you know, it saves money in the long run. And also it's not the best for the environment, you know. So I try to order as much as I can, like in one go. And like a lot of people who do these kinds of videos way more often than I do, they have like hundreds of dollars each month to spare on manga or so it seems at least. And I don't have that kind of money, so I can do as many haul videos as other people. But yeah, that's okay. And I'm just gonna show you what I bought in the month of November of this year. First thing I bought is this. This is called Le Turisto Red List. And it has a subtitle that says Keisho Sotai Sanka. P.O.? Is that P.O. still? Part of the title, I'm not sure. And yeah, judging from that title alone, it's about, because I have no idea what it's about. It's by Kanzaki Yuya, and I love this guy, so. And I was really looking forward to the Tankobon uh, of this. I haven't read it before, but judging from the title anyways, it's about a guy who lives between, um, lives between, who is sort of between the police and uh, Yakuza. And just reading this, it's just the classic Kanzaki Yuya story. He always does stuff like this, like police and crime and organized crime or serial killers and stuff like that. I did one video on one of his stories, so I will link this somewhere. But just look at this art. Maybe I'll put some photos of this in the video later on. Usually I'd like to provide you with some, you know, better scans, but if there aren't any, then just bear with me, please. I can't wait to read it. It looks gorgeous. And he's always really funny as well. So if you like this kind of stuff, then check it out. Next on the list. Look Back by Fujimoto Tatsuki. And Fujimoto Tatsuki is, of course, the author of Fire Punch and Chainsaw Man. And by the way, I still haven't read Fire Punch. I know it's amazing and I will read it eventually. I'll, I just want to buy the whole set and then read it. And, you know, that's it seems like something I'd like. So, I mean, something that I'd enjoy. So I want to buy the set and just yeah read that instead of like scans or whatever so anyways this is the newest one shot by Fujimoto and this I actually read it before and just immediately had to buy it it's a really it's a really great one shot and usually I mean I've talked about the potential problems that you can face when you make a one shot right like you have just a certain amount of time to develop characters and make us care about them and develop an interesting story that can be resolved in a short amount of time. And this is, this is like a prime example of a good one shot, in my opinion. And I'm not gonna talk too much about the story, but it's about two girls who meet in school. Uh, one girl is actually always absent but she likes to draw manga and the other girl does manga for like the school paper and they get together and start drawing manga together and they form a, a very special friendship, I'd say. And that in and of itself might not sound super interesting to you, but again, I don't wanna go too much into detail of what the story is really about because on one hand, it's really about friendship, but on the other hand, it's also about manga and you know how great, what a gr great passion this can be, you know? And yeah, it's, it's a little bit emotional, so just be prepared for that. Next on the list is Fujimoto Tatsuki again, this time with, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to be pronounced, like 17 to 21. And this is a collection of short stories, I believe. Um, and I, I think these have been published before, but not like compiled into one volume. So if you're a fan of Fujimoto's, then you probably have read these stories because people have been reviewing them online and stuff. You might already know what these are about, but I really don't. And I was wondering about this title 
like 17 to 21 and I thought oh maybe it's like the stories that he did from 2017 to 2021 right I mean it came out this year in 2021 so that would make sense but he published another one of these that, that's actually on the way to me right now like I already ordered it <laughs> And that is called 22 to, oh, I don't know, whatever the fuck, like 26 or whatever. And so that can be the reason. So if anyone knows what this title is about, then please enlighten me. So that is it for manga, at least. As I said before, I ordered stuff today, <laughs> but I didn't want to wait until that arrived. So whatever. But I did buy some other stuff. Um, books actually and uh, and one of these books is this one and this is like um like a japanese book for japanese students so like they use when they have japanese in school like we have you know if you have english at school and stuff like that and um obviously i'm I should be too old to read stuff like that, but since Japanese is also not my la native language, I figured I should buy some books um, that people actually use at school so I can, you know, get to a higher level. And this is like for high school students. And in this book, what this basically does, it's like reading comprehension. Like, um, for example, in, in the first section or chapter, it talks about um, how you can, how you can figure out the relationships people have in this text without it being explicitly said, or, you know, like how to read between the lines, basically. Because this has two sections. Like in the first section, you got the actual texts and in the second section, which you should do first, I suppose, um, it gives you some tips on what to look for and where to pay attention. And then you read the text and answer questions. So I think that is gonna be really helpful and beneficial. So if you study Japanese and want to know where to get these books, I mean, you can get them on Amazon, but if you want, I can link them in the title of this book below. And the last book I got is also something to study. And this is a Japanese geography book. And this is for, I think, middle schoolers. And this is just like a basic textbook that they use at school. And it's about geography. The <laughs> doy. And this also has some exercises in it, which I always think is good. So you can really make sure that you understand what you read. And I mean, obviously, if you read this in your mother tongue, you will focus on um, Nayo. You will focus on the information that you that you're learning, but this way you get to learn vocabulary and phrases and stuff like that, and learn about the shape of the world, for example. Sorry, this is really not working out well. So in this volume, I think there's just a lot of stuff about the whole world in general. So it's not for Japan especially. It's not, it doesn't have a focus on Japan. It has a focus on the world, its shape, and like the environments of different places in the world and the like climate. Then you get to a chapter about Asia, Europe, North America. And this looks really good. As I said, if you want, I can link these below. And the reason I buy these books is because if you think about it, when you learn a language, you just, you know, you buy textbooks and blah, blah, blah. But a native speaker has a whole education in that language that you want to learn. So it makes, sen it makes sense to buy books they use to study at school or they read at school, you know? So yeah, that was a tiny, tiny haul video. I'm really sorry that I always ramble when I explain stuff about books because 
my head is full of other languages and I'm not very focused in general. Like I'm not a very focused person in the sense of attention span, like in the sense of I'm focused on my goals. I'm very focused, but my attention span. But yeah, next video um, is gonna be like a typical video of mine where I talk about a single series and I already know which one. And it was a very dark and emotional experience. So look forward to that. But yeah, that is it for this week. I really didn't have time to prepare anything more. I'm a little busy, but yeah. Tell me if you've read any of these or if any of these interest you. And if, if you like to know more about any of the things I showed you, I can make a separate video, especially on that. But yeah, that is it. Hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.